A military armored car is a wheeled light armored vehicle, lighter than other armored fighting vehicles, primarily being armored and or armed for self-defense of the occupants. Other multi-axle wheeled military vehicles can be quite large, and actually be superior to some smaller tracked vehicles in terms of armor and armament. History, Armed Car The Motor Scout was designed and built by British inventor F.R. Sims in 1898. It was the first armed petrol engine-powered vehicle ever built. The vehicle was a Dion Bouton quadricycle with a mounted Maxim machine gun on the front bar. An iron shield in front of the car protected the driver. Another early armed car was invented by Royal Page Davidson at Northwestern Military and Naval Academy in 1898 with a Davidson Deraille gun carriage and a later Davidson automobile battery armored car. However, these were not armored cars as the term is understood today, as they provided no real protection for their crews against any kind of opposing fire. They were also, by virtue of their small capacity engines, far less efficient than the cavalry and horse-drawn guns that they were intended to complement. First armored cars, at the beginning of the 20th century, the first military armored vehicles were manufactured, by adding armor and weapons to existing vehicles. The first armored car was the Sims Motor War Car, designed by F. R. Sims and built by Vickers, Sons and Maxim of Barrow on a special Coventry-built Daimler chassis with a German-built Daimler motor in 1899 and a single prototype was ordered in April 1899. The prototype was finished in 1902 too late to be used during the Boer War. The vehicle had Vickers armor 6 arm thick and was powered by a four-cylinder 3.3-liter 16-horsepower Canster Daimler engine giving it a maximum speed of around 9 miles per hour. The armament, consisting of two Maxim guns, was carried in two turrets with 360-degree traverse. It had a crew of four. Sims Motor War Car was presented at the Crystal Palace, London, in April 1902. Another early armored car of the period was the French Charon, Gerard A. Voigt 1902, presented at the Salon de l'Automobile A du Cycle in Brussels, on March 8, 1902. The vehicle was equipped with a Hotchkiss machine gun, and with seven arm armor for the gunner. The Italians used armored cars during the Italo-Turkish War. A great variety of armored cars appeared on both sides during World War I and these were used in various ways. World War I, generally, the armored cars were used by more or less independent car commanders. However, sometimes they were used in larger units up to squadron size. The cars were primarily armed with light machine guns. But larger units usually employed a few cars with heavier guns. As air power became a factor, armored cars offered a mobile platform for anti-aircraft guns. The first effective use of an armored vehicle in combat was achieved by the Belgian Army in Augusta Euro September 1914. They had placed cockerel armor plating and a Hotchkiss machine gun on Minerva armored cars. Their successes in the early days of the war convinced the Belgian GHQ to create a corps of armored cars, who would be sent to fight on the Eastern Front once the Western Front immobilized after the Battle of the Isa. The British Royal Naval Air Service dispatched aircraft to Dunkirk to defend the UK from Zeppelins. The officers' cars followed them and these began to be used to rescue downed reconnaissance pilots in the battle areas. They mounted machine guns on them and as these excursions became increasingly dangerous, they improvised boilerplate armoring on the vehicles provided by a local shipbuilder. In London Murray Suater ordered fighting cars based on Rolls-Royce, Talbot and Wolseley chassis. By the time Rolls-Royce armored cars arrived in December 1914, the mobile period on the Western Front was already over. As described below, they had a fascinating birth and long and interesting service. More tactically important was the development of formed units of armored cars, such as the Canadian Automobile Machine Gun Brigade, which was the first fully mechanized unit in the history of the British Army. The brigade was established on September 2, 1914 in Ottawa as Automobile Machine Gun Brigade No. 1 by Brigadier General Raymond Brutine. The brigade was originally equipped with eight armored autocars mounting two machine guns. By 1918 Brutine's force consisted of two motor machine gun brigades. The brigade, and its armored cars, provided yeoman service in many battles, 
notably at Amiens. The Rolls-Royce armoured car was famously proposed, developed, and utilised by the second Duke of Westminster. He took a squadron of these cars to France in time to make a noted contribution to the Second Battle of Ypres, and thereafter the cars with their master were sent to the Middle East to play a part in the British campaign in Palestine and elsewhere. These cars appear in the memoirs of numerous officers of the BEF during the earlier stages of the Great War, their ducal master often being described in an almost piratical style. World War II the British Royal Air Force in the Middle East was equipped with Rolls-Royce armoured cars and Morris tenders. Some of these vehicles were among the last of a consignment of ex-Royal Navy armoured cars that had been serving in the Middle East since 1915. In September 1940 a section of the No. 2 Squadron RAF Regiment Company was detached to General Lavella Euro unregistered trademark S ground forces during the first offensive against the Italians in Egypt. It is said that these armoured cars became a Euro of the eyes and ears of a Vela Euro unregistered trademark. During the actions in the October of that year the company was employed on convoy escort tasks, airfield defence, fighting reconnaissance patrols and screening operations. During the Anglo-Iraqi War, some of the units located in the British Mandate of Palestine were sent to Iraq and drove forts and armoured cars. Fordson armoured cars were Rolls-Royce armoured cars which received new chassis from a Fordson truck in Egypt. Since the Treaty of Versailles did not mention armoured cars, Germany began developing them early. By the start of the new war, the German army possessed some highly effective reconnaissance vehicles, such as the Schura Panzer Spikarensi wagon. The Soviet BA-64 was influenced by a captured Leech to Panzer Spikarensi wagon before it was first tested in January 1942. In the second half of the war, the American M8 Greyhound and the British Daimler armoured cars featured turrets with light guns mounted in turrets. As with other wartime armoured cars, their reconnaissance roles emphasised greater speed and stealth than a tracked vehicle could provide, so their limited armour armament and off-road capabilities were seen as acceptable compromises. Military use A military armoured car is a type of armoured fighting vehicle having wheels instead of tracks, and usually light armour. Armoured cars are typically less expensive and on-roads have better speed and range than tracked military vehicles. They do however have less mobility as they have less off-road capabilities because of the higher ground pressure. They also have less obstacle climbing capabilities than tracked vehicles. Wheels are more vulnerable to enemy fire than tracks, they have a higher signature and in most cases less armor than comparable tracked vehicles. As a result they are not intended for heavy fighting. Their normal use is for reconnaissance, command, control, and communications, or for use against lightly armed insurgents or rioters. Only some are intended to enter close combat often accompanying convoys to protect soft-skinned vehicles. Light armoured cars, such as the British Ferret are armed with just a machine gun. Heavier vehicles are armed with autocannon or a small tank gun. The heaviest armoured cars, such as the German, World War II-era SDKF Z234 or the modern, USM-1128 mobile gun system, mount the same guns that arm medium tanks. Armoured cars are popular for peacekeeping or internal security duties. Their appearance is less confrontational and threatening than tanks, and their size and maneuverability is said to be more compatible with tight urban spaces designed for wheeled vehicles. However they do have a larger turning radius compared to tracked vehicles which can turn on the spot and their tires are vulnerable and are less capable in climbing and crashing obstacles. However when there is true combat they are easily outgunned and lightly armoured. The threatening appearance of a tank is often enough to keep an opponent from attacking, whereas a less threatening vehicle such as an armoured car is more likely to be attacked. Many modern forces now have their dedicated armoured car designs, to exploit the advantages noted above. Examples would be the M1117 armoured security vehicle of the USA or Alvis Saladin of the post-World War II era in the United Kingdom. Alternatively, Civilian vehicles may be modified into improvised armoured cars in ad hoc fashion. Many militias and irregular forces adapt civilian vehicles into AFVs and troop carriers, and in some regional conflicts these technicals are the only combat vehicles present. On occasion, 
even the soldiers of national militaries are forced to adapt their civilian-type vehicles for combat use, often using improvised armor and scrounged weapons. See also Armored bus, armored personal carrier, armored car, armoring, aramid, bulletproof glass, tuaron, vehicle armor. Gun truck, tankette, technical, notes. References, Crow, Duncan, and Ix, Robert J., Encyclopedia of Armored Cars, Chatwell Books, Secaucus, New Jersey, 1976. ISBN 0-89009-058-0. External links, WWY Armored Cars, Modern Armored Vehicles.